Enjoying the great outdoors can be a huge challenge for people with impaired mobility, but a new program is offering them a front row seat to places that used to be out of reach. It's making parks and trails more accessible and is all free of charge. Mark Stossman has this health report. A walk in the woods in search of nature's glory, fresh air, a light wintry breeze, the sun's warmth seems so simple but not for Mario Sanchez, who's now 41. Since he was two, muscular dystrophy has been telling him no. That's about to change with his motorized all-terrain wheelchair, part of a new Georgia program championed by Amy Copeland. Clean, fresh air, sunlight. It is a game changer. It's a life changer. After a 2012 zip lining accident gassed her calf, Copeland contracted a freak flesh-eating bacterial infection. To save her life, doctors amputated both her hands, her right foot, and her entire left leg. Someone so active, no longer able to walk. She was 24. I gave myself a nice pity party. I can only do that for so long. Her foundation pushed the state for years to allow these all-terrain wheelchairs to create moments like this. It is a freeing experience, being out in the middle of the woods with the sun on your face and the breeze and the trees and the birds. Melanie Dunn, a double amputee and assistant director at Copeland's Foundation, says the response to all-terrain Georgia has been phenomenal. Just imagine that you can never walk again, and that's what it's like to be in a wheelchair. And the person that is in this chair all of a sudden is just blown away. On the edge of Georgia's Sweetwater Creek State Park, just west of Atlanta, Mario Sanchez heads out for a family outing. Into the woods we go. The park's path has uneven terrain. Rocks, branches, occasional standing water. For him, all the usual deal breakers. I'll put it up to three. But Sanchez suddenly is a half mile deep in the woods, immersed in its wonder. That's so cool. It really handles good. For the first time, in his life. It's a blast, it really is. Liberating? Very, very liberating. Sanchez found himself on a path he had never traveled. What a difference. That's cool. Mark Strassman, Lithia Springs, Georgia.